Hey guys, good morning. It is Christmas Eve day and I was looking at my Instagram this morning and I noticed some questions about M2 hardware and it compelled me to make this video. So check this out. Get closer here. Um, what I have here is a Helination Talon F4, which looks a lot like the Talon, no, Talon F7. looks a lot like the Talon F4. Now it uses M3 holes with gummy, so that's an M3 hole right there. And um, the nice thing about that is that just, you know, any normal screw that we're used to, as far as, if I can get one from here, M3 goes, they just slip in just fine. See? However, 20 by 20, there are still some ESCs and even some FCs that run M2, even though I think M2 eventually is going to fade out and everybody's gonna settle on M3. There's some ESCs like the Emacs F4 from their um, 20 by 20 stack. It uses M2 hardware, the holes are too small. When you put that through there, it just kind of jiggles around because it just, you know, it's a smaller screw. So while it's nice that some of the newer ESCs, like say the um, Acon new 20 by 20, it is M3, there are still some M2 ESCs on the market. So I have a little trick that will solve that problem. First of all, let's look at these brass inserts. These brass inserts right here, they are a lot like the ones inside the body of cameras. The only difference is that usually the ones inside the camera inside the plastic have a closed end. So one side is actually closed, but these are essentially the same thing, only they drill through them. But these go in there like that. I can get this in there. There we go. And it fills a hole up as a spacer, and then you know, so you thread the screw in, just like that. And then you can put them in and out. So once you have it ready, you push it in, and it rests on whatever board is below it. So this is great. But I don't know if anybody actually sells these individually. These come with the Helination F4, F7, and with the CL Racing Mini. 20 by 20 boards, and they usually have a few spares. See, for example, this is one bag from one flight controller, and it has like eight of them in there or something. Um, there's more in here. So if you don't have these, there's something you can do that will do more or less the same effect. So you take common fuel tubing. This is Dubro fuel tubing that's used for nitro models, right? And then you take antenna tubing. And you just shove it in there. Let me cut this straight first with my blade. So cut this really straight, right? And then you put this in there. Right, you cut it off. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm making a standoff spacer that is, it's kind of crooked this one, but you get the point. It fills up the hole so that you can use an M2 screw without having any jiggle room. Now, of course, this will be used at the bottom here. You still have to solve that problem, but you can do the same thing. You can take your antenna tubing, put it in there, cut it, and fill out the hole. See? So now you have an M2 screw that will go in there without having any wiggle. It's just common antenna tubing, like the type you put, you know, for your antennas. That's it. Thank you. 